King Charles and Queen Camilla, who are busy preparing for their coronations, visited Liverpool to unveil the staging for the Eurovision Song Contest at the M&S Bank Arena. During their visit, the King and his wife met UK entry May Muller after they were given a behind-the-scenes tour of the Liverpool Arena. Chatting to the singer, who hopes her track, I wrote a song, will end the UK's 25-year wait for victory, Charles gave her encouragement, saying, we will be watching you with great interest, egging you on. Muller replied, thank you, no pressure. No Newell points, and Camilla echoed her words, saying, no, no Newell points. While in Liverpool, the royal couple met presenter Ryland Clark and were presented with Blue Peter badges after setting off a glittering light show in view of an invited audience. Liverpool is hosting the semi-finals on May 9th and 11th as well as the grand final on May 13th. Eurovision 2023 Managing Director Martin Green said Charles and Camilla expressed interest in the event, and he dubbed the week between the coronation and the song contest's grand final the most extraordinary seven days. Liverpool was chosen to host the competition on behalf of War Tour in Ukraine which won the last contest. It will be the first time the competition has been held in the UK for 25 years. Don't miss! Sir Roger Moore seen in final video with son three days before he died, latest, Tony Blackburn cancels all work as illness turns more serious, news, Robbie Williams and Ida Field open up about sexless marriage, insight, we last hosted Eurovision in 1998 in Birmingham's National Indoor Arena and finished as runners-up with Imani's track, where are you? To date, five British acts have been victorious since the contest began in 1956. They are Katrina and the Waves, 1997, Bucks Fizz, 1981, Brotherhood of Man, 1976, Lulu, 1969, and Sandy Shaw, 1967. Last year, Sam Ryder finished second after belting out his hit, Spaceman. This week, Sam has been hailed as the UK's favourite Eurovision entry by BBC Radio 2 listeners. Making Your Mind Up by Bucks Fizz, 1981, is in second place, ooh ah, just a little bit by Gina G, 1996 is in third place, Love Shine a Light by Katrina and the Waves, 1997, in fourth, and Save Your Kisses for Me by Brotherhood of Man, 1976, rounded off the top five. 